probably in there. I don't know if we're in there or not. All right, let's hey, give it a shot. Hopefully we're in there. Yeah, hopefully we're in there. How you doing, everybody? My name's Jeff, one of the founding members of BlackOpsFishing.com. And uh, I got to be honest, kind of embarrassed to say it, but I've never used a bait caster. And we're doing a follow-up from Al's video. He watched it. I watched it. I know, you know, the basics. I know what Al has to say. I'm going to watch him take a couple of casts. And what? Then I'm going to uh, heave the bait caster myself and okay. see if I can uh, avoid the uh, backlashes first. and the bird's nests. I'll go first. Dude, it went up two degrees while you were talking. Yeah, it is Look getting warm. Look at 46. It's getting pretty warm. And then, <laughs> how long ago was it when we were in a deep freeze? It was below zero temperatures a week ago. Yeah, easily. Wind chill factor was 30 chill below. Was, yeah, about 20, 30 below. The regular temperature was 9 below. Yeah. And then the week before that, I was standing in the Farmington River in a sweatshirt. Trout chair, fishing. Catching brown trout. Interesting weather. Yeah, crazy year. I fished the ice out at this pond up here. This winter I had four ice outs. Yeah, it's rolling. All right, I'm not going to adjust it. I'm just going to cast it the way that it is and see what happens for the first round. Nice, nice. All right, so the first thing I noticed right off the bat from casting this and casting the spinning reel is you have to release a lot earlier. Any pointers out? Yeah, uh, you, I would say you're right. Yeah, you got to release a lot earlier with the bait caster. It depends on the casts you're doing, though. You know. You, you could do a kind of an over arm cast that might be a little different. Uh, hey, that wasn't too bad there. No backlash? No. So you're actually, with that cast, could have caught a fish. What was that, your fifth, sixth cast? Probably the fifth. Could have caught it, could catch a fish right there. Sixth cast, he's a bait caster. That's not bad right there. Yeah, cut. 
You got the weight of your lure. You got your lure here. You gotta adjust the tension. Watch my spool. See how it overrides. That's how you're gonna get a backlash. When that lure hits the ground, now the spool overrides. That's how I just got this backlash. So, that's what you don't want to do. You always want to be careful that you don't run your line down, your, line, your main line down into the spool by having your drag too tight. You can pull your line right down into the spool. You want to make sure your line is put onto the spool tight right from the bath. There's a loop in here I'm trying to get to. There's, there's loops down inside from the backlash. So you spool it all, all out, get everything clean, pinch it, reel your line back on nice and tight. Now we're gonna tighten that up. Okay, now it's not turning. Loosen it. Oh, that was gonna to be too much. Loosen it. There. The lure hits the ground or the water. As soon as the lure hits a surface, water, the ground or whatever, the spool stops. That's a safe place for a beginner. If you had a brake system on this side, I would start it in the middle and then you can adjust your cast control lesser or more from there. Start in the middle with your brake system. Adjust your tension knob so that it stops when your lure hits the water and you're ready to go. Alright, let me take a whack at that thing. With my quantum. You gotta try this one. I gotta, yeah, and I gotta take one more. One more. Alright, let's see if I can beat that one. It's all on the rod. You'll be good with that one. You didn't knock it over, you bastard. 